Well, welcome back. In the preceding videos, we've gone ahead and set up this rollover navigation bar. And you can see we're using images for the tabs, and there's a hover effect on each one of them. Now, in our example document, we also have a current state here. And you can see the way this works. I've got my home page there. But if I go to About, Services, Contact, whatever page I'm on, that's going to look a little bit different. The whole hovers work exactly the same. It's just the active page is marked differently. So let's go ahead and go back into our construction document. And what we need to go ahead and do is figure out a way to link what page you're on with an individual list item here. And we're going to do that by adding an additional class style. And we're going to do that to each one of the pages that we create. And I'm going to create that class style in both the body tag and in the list item. So I'm going to go ahead and set the class style for this body um, tag to home page. And I'm going to do the exact same thing down here. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is the home page. And I'm just going to paste that into these others here, even though they're not the home page. And then I'm going to go ahead and say about page, services page, and contact page. Save that. So I've applied the same class style to my individual list items as I did to the home page. Now, what that's going to allow us to do is write a style that specifies on a particular page how to format these individual items. And we do that very simply. I go into design view for my code here. Actually, there we go. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to go ahead and say home page dot home page A. And I'm going to create a, a style there. And the style that it's going to use is going to be background image, browse, and I'm going to go find the current page for the home right there. Save that. So you can see what I've said here. Anytime we have a home page that has a home page A inside of it, apply this background image. And when we look at our source code, we can see home page on the body and home page on this here. It won't affect these pages because we don't have about page up here. But if for some reason or another I wanted to format this particular tab differently whenever I'm on the home page, I could create another style and just call it home page about page A. So all you're doing is matching the pattern of the selectors. And we don't actually want that, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it and save it. Now I need to do this exact same thing for the other pages that I'm going to go ahead and create in our site. Now we haven't actually created the about page, the services page, or the contact page yet. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste this in three more times. And then I'm just going to go ahead and modify this. I'm going to say about page and about page services page and services page contact page contact page and then I need to go in here and change the name of the file there sometimes I think copying and pasting takes me longer but I like it oops go ahead and do contact there and we'll save that and now I actually need to create the individual pages because all we have right now is just our index page 
So what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to save this. I'm going to save as, and this is going to be about.html. Save as again, services.html, and contact.html. So now I have my four different pages here. And the only thing that I need to change on these other pages is I need to change the class style that I applied to the body tag. So this is going to be about page. So again, when we're on this page, the body style is not going to match the, this style. It's going to match these styles because we're looking for an about page inside of an about page. Or I should say an about page inside of another about page. And we'll go over over here to services, and this is going to be services page. And this is going to be, whoops, contact page. Save it. And we'll come back in here to design view, and you're going to see that I indeed have the current page marked there. And if I go ahead and follow this to another page, there's the about page is marked as current, services, contact. So now what we need to go ahead and do is one final thing. You're going to notice that when I hover over these buttons here, they change. But if I also, if I hover over, and actually I made a mistake there, I typed in services twice. I need to go ahead and change that. There we go. This should be contact hover and contact off. You all probably saw that even before I did. And now let's go ahead and go into design view and see how this works. There we go. Looking a little better. There's services, about, and home. Well, now we need to make sure we do, and actually, services there, that's still not showing up right. So let's go ahead and go into these code here. And we have services hover and services off. What do we have down here? We have services current. I see the mistake I made. At service current. It should be services current. We'll save that, and now let's try it. There we go, services works right. If I go to about, they all work right. With the exception of the fact that the active page still has that hover state on it. So in the next video, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and correct that.